Hayden Panettiere went from star on the rise to overnight sensation with the release of NBC's superhero series Heroes in 2006. Panettiere portrayed Claire Bennett, a superpowered high school cheerleader whose survival held the key to saving the world. Save the cheerleader, save the world! Upon release, Heroes became an unexpected smash hit that instantly put Hayden Panettiere at the forefront of the pop culture world. Before Heroes, Panettiere had already made a bit of a name for herself with memorable turns on Ally McBeal, Malcolm in the Middle, and as the co-star of Disney's Ice Princess. But the runaway success of Heroes seemed to put her on the path to legit superstardom. Panettiere promptly began booking projects to help her get a foothold in the film world. Unfortunately, one of those films wound up stalling out Hayden Panettiere's film career before it ever really began. I Love You, Beth Cooper was one of many teen comedies that came out in the mid-2000s, hoping to ride the coattails of the massive 2007 hit Superbad. After Superbad helped put Emma Stone, Jonah Hill, and Michael Sarah on Hollywood's A-list of teen talent, one could hardly blame Hayden Panettiere for hoping for a similar big-screen breakout. Much like Superbad, I Love You, Beth Cooper took a night-in-the-life approach to teen debauchery. The film followed its teen ensemble as they searched for love and lust on the evening of their high school graduation. Unfortunately, while Beth Cooper clearly aspired to achieve the same successful mix of raunch and heart as Superbad, it never came close to hitting its goal, barely crossing the $15 million mark at the box office. Many reviewers faulted lackluster work from director Chris Columbus, but they also agreed that the film's cast didn't bring much to the table. Mark Olson of the Los Angeles Times called the film a flat, tired rehash of teen movie story tropes. Meanwhile, Time Out's Anna Smith said it paled in comparison to similar films like Superbad and noted, the pace is slow and lines fall flat. Overall, critics found the film to be a lifeless affair that falters on both the comedic and romantic fronts. Wow. <laughs> Thanks. Unfortunately for Hayden Panettiere, her face was all over the movie's promotional materials and her career on the big screen never really recovered. After I Love You, Beth Cooper flopped at the box office and with critics, Panettiere's career faltered, losing most of the momentum she'd gained with heroes. Future film projects never earned her the A-list status it seems she'd been on track to achieve. In the 2011 film The Forger, Panettiere played a teenager who begins a relationship with a young art forger, played by Josh Hutcherson. And despite an impressive ensemble cast that included Oscar winners Viola Davis and Ellen Burstyn, 2016's custody didn't fare much better. In the film, Panettiere played Ali Fisher, a young lawyer who takes on a difficult custody case representing a troubled single mother. Also in 2011, Panettiere joined the Scream franchise as teenager Kirby Reed for Scream 4. In the film, Kirby gets wrapped up in the latest round of brutal killings that rock the otherwise sleepy town of Woodsboro, California. Although she was seriously wounded during the film's terrifying climax, Kirby's ultimate fate was open-ended, leaving the door open for her to possibly return to the franchise. However, while many other former Scream stars are indeed set to return in 2022's fifth installment, titled simply Scream, Panettiere has not yet been confirmed to be among them. Aside from the adrenaline-fueled Scream 4, most of Panettiere's post-Beth Cooper feature projects have been relatively low-key affairs. However, although her film career never really took off, Panettiere did find success again on the small screen. The nighttime soap Nashville ran for six seasons, first on ABC before moving to CMT, with Panettiere co-starring as up-and-coming country starlet Juliet Barnes. Her performance was well-received by critics and earned her two Golden Globe nominations. So while Hayden Panettiere may not be the A-list movie star that Heroes fans thought she'd become, she's still doing pretty well for herself. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more Looper videos about your favorite stars are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.